Hi, Denny. Jeff Seacrest here from out at the Jones dealership. Hey, just wanted to put together a quick little video for you here. I know when you were in for service, we talked about uh, another pickup truck for you here, getting going from yours into a new one and, and seeing. The biggest thing is, obviously, they have made a huge redesign, a huge change from what you currently have. I'm going to go over this truck here. I've priced up this one. It's similar to yours in equipment, uh, but there's a lot to talk about. First off, aesthetically, you can see that it's got the, a completely different front end, the headlights, the grill, the bumper, the hood shape, everything about it is completely different. And, and that's how it is all throughout the entire truck here. This is an SLE, just like what you have now. One of the things that they've started doing is adding the badging to the side here, indicates the engine, 5.3 liter V8, same V8 that you have now. There's been some minor tweaks and changes. The biggest difference being with the transmission on this. The other thing I wanted to point out is that because it's the X31 off-road suspension package, and that's replace the Z71 off-road suspension package that you may be more familiar with hearing. The X31 gives you these nicer upgraded wheels on the SLE. Uh, it also have it has a nice tire tread to it as well. The SLEs are now coming with chrome mirror caps. They used to have the body colored uh, door handles and mirror caps still have the body color door handles, but the mirror caps are chrome. Speaking of the door handles, you can see the little button here. That is for the easy key passive entry system so key remains in your pocket or your bag or whatever and when you walk up to it if the truck's locked you grab the handle you tap your thumb on that put it, pushing that button in once will unlock the driver door pushing it twice will unlock all the rest of the doors and that way you can get into your vehicle and you can also change that in the settings but that's how it is from the default um, this one here just like yours is the cloth interior couple big changes to the interior, the layout, the gauge cluster settings different, the center stack, the radio is different, everything's touch screen. Not only does the Bluetooth do phone calls, but it also does texting, it does audio, you have the ability to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, dual zone climate control, heated seats for driver and for passenger. One of the things that this engine has is the auto stop to help save on fuel. You do have the button right here to turn that off if you don't desire for it to be on. You also have a tailgate release from right inside the vehicle here. And with the um, X31 off-road suspension package, you do have the hill descent control button. You can basically think of it as like an off-road cruise control. When you're doing a, like a little bit more of like a hill crawl type of thing downhill, this will hold you back and reduce your speed at those very, very low speeds when you're on a grade or something like that it does have the split bench seat in the front here so it does function like a console you can open it up have some nice storage have the cup holder space there for it or by pulling on this strap it allows the seat then to come up and actually be a seat in the middle the one thing that's nice too is that it now has a seat belt that goes over your shoulder so if you do have a passenger there in the middle they are 100 percent protected and as safe as possible we'll also have the all-weather floor mats in here instead of just the carpeted ones one of the things that they've changed is a larger back seat space crew cabs have always been very roomy and very accommodating but now it's even bigger in the new redesigned sierra this is a 2020 of course but the 2019s and moving forward are this new design that they've gone to you have charging for usb in the back you also have the 12 volt outlet as well and they have their rear air vents so that way everybody in the cabin is as comfortable as possible so coming around to the back here, like I mentioned, it has the badge for the X31 suspension package. Part of that also gives the Rancho shocks. So it's actually gonna ride a little bit nicer because those shocks are tuned to be able to handle more jounces, more bumps, more things like that. And what, for what they're meant to handle on the off-road, gives them a smoother ride on road because they're more responsive and recoil better to those types of conditions the other thing that the x31 gives you is the dual exhaust when paired with the v8 engine here so as you can see dual exhaust cut out in the chrome bumper look real nice real sharp does have the trailer hitch built right in and you have your four pin wiring harness for that or your seven pin at the bottom. So that way, no matter what type of trailer you have, you can adjust to that. Do have your cameras built into the back here. 
at the push of a button, the tailgate will open and it is the easy lowering tailgate. And then you'll see the one of the first things you'll notice is not only does it have the spray and bed liner, but the sides, it pushes in deeper. So without making the truck drastically wider, your cargo capacity in the bed has become much, much wider because of how deep into the wheel wells it goes. And that's because of the materials that they're using. They're stronger and more durable than ever. And you don't need a lot of dead space between the outboard part of the bed and the inside part of the bed. The other thing to note is you have your tie downs, three of them three of them over there and you still have the spots those plugs pop out for the removable tie downs as well that will give you the ability to have some adjustment and versatility out of this the lights that you see along the back there and there are angled to shine into the bed and it has been found that it does do a little bit of a better job of illuminating that than the ones that are just on your generation up underneath the bed rails there but the way these are angled in the direction that they're at they make it a little bit easier. As you saw, that tailgate super easy to put back up. It has torsion bars in the tailgate itself. So making it very lightweight, one hand operation is a piece of cake out of it. So all around beautiful truck, very similar to what you got now, just the latest and greatest version of it. But as far as something similar, this is what is gonna fit the bill for you um, while giving you all the modern touches that came with this latest generation of Sierra here. So I'm going to shoot this over to you in an email. I also have some preliminary numbers prepared for you here. I'll put everything together and see what you think. Thanks, Denny. If you have any questions at all, just let me know. Talk to you then. Bye.